Hey, I'm James. And I'm Jake. And we're here today with... Aspringa! It's literally... I don't know why I said it like that. Because you're excited! Is that why I'm excited? I'm not excited at all. I'm not. Why? No, because you know me, right? I believe that modern technology has made things better. Yeah, but... but Yeah, but this is old-fashioned. This looks like... My granddad would have looked at this and said, Oh, no, no, that's a bit old-fashioned, son. No, well, he would have said but, grandson. But, but, but also, this was your grandfather's era. Yeah, it was. That's part of the and allure, that man. Was it's brilliant. so cool. That was so good back then. But here, okay, so here we go, right? So if I'm going to give you a choice now, right? You can have my 80-inch flat screen that's mounted on my wall, uh -huh. or or I'll give you a 1950s massive bloody television set in a big wooden case to watch your sports on. Which are you going to pick? Which All right, honestly, genuine question: yes. Do I really get your 80-inch flat screen? No. So that I definitely pick the big wood box and I don't no, watch you wouldn't. sports. You wouldn't. And let me tell you why I would. You wouldn't. Because what would be cooler than sipping some like single cask and watching I Love Lucy in black and white. No, it would be stupid. On this big box in your this... man cave. Wouldn't that be just gnarly? No, wouldn't that because, be cooler than No, shit? it wouldn't because the screen was this big. It would be all flussy. The sound would sound terrible. It would be terrible. But it'd be nostalgic. Like I feel like on a Sunday afternoon. It wouldn't be nostalgic. You're... It would be stupid. Well, it would be stupid. Welcome to 2021. Apparently, exactly. that's what's popular. I'm just saying this. I don't think it's going to ride well. I've never ridden a Springer. I don't think it's going to ride well. I think it's going to ride terrible. I think it looks cool, but that's all that has going it, for it. But it's so much more than that. It's not. It's so it just much looks more cool. Than that. What, what does this have that is not just cool? What do you mean? It's just cool, right? That's what why else it's there. does it need? It's functional. Does it, does it go down the road? Yes. Does it be so the hell out of it? No. Yes. No. Yes. Hell no. Dude, a properly maintained and this is the this is the secret. This is where I have to go back to my mechanic roots here. As long as you have your Harley shop or your motorcycle mechanic take care of this, this is a solid unit. It works well. As long as this is maintained, that's really all that goes into this front end. They do ride good. I don't care what James says. We know better. James oh. is right. No, you're not. And I, I can look, tell you you're not, and I know you're not. I am looking you at it. see. It looks like a bloody Flintstone motorcycle, man. And now you're going to smack the way it looks. Didn't you just say it looked cool? It looks cool, but in the Flintstone sort of cool. Oh, my goodness. Nothing was cool about the Flintstone. Fred was a dunce. Fred was... Yeah, I said it. What? You have heard me, YouTube and James, specifically James. I still love you. I mean, I love him too. But also, he's trash from a Springer. Soft tails and street glides. Anyway, properly made. And when you ride it, you'll see. It's that simple. Okay, so we are off. I am on the Springer. First time ever riding a Springer. I've always been reticent to ride one because they look quite good, as Jake was saying. But I have a feeling that it's just going to be not as good as a motorcycle with proper suspension. It's the 21st century. Actually, even in the 20th century, we had proper suspension, didn't we? I mean, this is a true throwback. And I suppose in that sense, it's a triumph. But is it a triumph to ride? We'll find out. So first corner, it's definitely heavier. You can feel that you've got a massive amount of weight out the front. And it's not quite as forgiving as a bike with the dual suspensions. So hitting the bridge, we always talk about comfort. And as far as comfort goes, it's the same as pretty much every other heritage I've ridden. It's very, very comfortable. I thought the front shocks or lack of front shocks up front would make it very stiff. It's not that stiff, to be honest. It's, um, you know you don't have the dual suspension up there. But at the same time, it's not like riding on a hardtail up front, because that would be terrible. I'll tell you what is terrible. This weather it is freezing, freezing cold. I think it was 25 degrees this morning, which in, in Atlanta is, it's unheard of. It's just ridiculous. It's snowing in Texas. What is going on? Well, we didn't hear 
We didn't come here to talk about the weather, did we? No. <laughs> so, yeah. I, like right now, riding on the straight, it doesn't feel very much different. You can tell that you've got more weight up front, but it doesn't really... It doesn't make that much of a difference. I always loved the Heritage, you know, the new M8 Heritage, I think, is one of the best motorcycles that Harley Davidson make right now. And that is praise indeed when there's so many other great bikes out there. But the Heritage, it's comfortable. It rides really well. It's uh, it's a great bike. So when you put this front on it, uh, you know, go around the corner right there. It, it's not as responsive as a normal motorcycle. You counter steer on it, but it doesn't counter steer quite like other bikes because you've got all that extra weight, so you have to put quite a bit more effort into doing it, which is, yeah, that's fine. I'm not against putting effort into steering a motorcycle, but when there is technology that exists that allows it to ride better, I don't know why you would want the Springer, other than the way it looks. I mean, that is, that's really what this is, isn't it? This is a motorcycle you buy because it looks really, really cool. And it does. It looks like an old-fashioned motorcycle. And it is an old-fashioned motorcycle. And that is the problem. That it is... It, it just doesn't... I don't know. It's, uh, it's like putting a Springer seat on. It looks cool, but functionally, it's not very good at all. It's not comfortable. Uh, it bounces you up and it's just not good. And it's the same thing with this Springer front end. It has that nostalgic factor in spades, which is great. But riding is just... What the hell happened there? Do you remember? Like, last week, that was a forest to my right. Now it's just a... Well, it's an empty forest. <laughs> an empty forest. <laughs> when you cut trees down, it becomes an empty forest. <laughs> All right, so slow speed going around the corner here. Yeah, it, there's a lot of weight. There is a lot of weight that you have to turn on this. I can't get over that. That's sad. We're probably going to put up more condos. We'll have a whole brand new new construction corner. Speaking of which, we're coming up too soon. I'm quite excited because I want to see how this handles on this curvy part right here. All right, so first of the corners. It's fine, actually. Um, it's just heavier. So once you get in your head that you can ride it, you just got to put a little bit more effort into turning. So on this one here, you just got to you got to count the steer. You got to push it to a handle just a little harder than you normally would to make it to make it go round. But having said that, it does it all right. So new construction corner. Now, yeah, look at it. New construction at new construction corner. <laughs> it's getting bigger. So. It's fine. You just have a lot of weight. And once you can get beyond that, it rides like a normal motorcycle. Having said that, I wouldn't buy one. I see no point. When I can buy a motorcycle with two suspensions up front, why would I get one with a single? Don't make any sense. Apart from one that look like a bike that's from the 50s or the 40s. All right, so we're pulling into the uh, petrol station here. We're gonna switch motorcycles. And I don't know if you've seen what Jake picked, but he picked some diner with massive bars and a massive front grille, no seat, just everything I dislike about motorcycles. And he did it just to spite me. And I'm not looking forward to that. I'm sad to get off the Springer. But maybe that's why he did it. He did it because he wants the Springer to seem better. So he brought the worst thing you could possibly imagine so that the Springer will seem better. Yeah. It does look great though, doesn't it? It does look really, really, really cool. That, on the other hand, yeah. Nope. Yep, finger for you, finger for you, for picking it. And let's, <laughs> let's go for a ride. Oh, that seat, look at it. Oh. Oh yeah, it's like a board. And these bars are ridiculous. My hands are up in the air, I'm like a bloody monkey. And I just, oh, you know me in high bars. I just don't like them. 
<laughs> this is incredible. You know when you can feel every bump and vibration on the road? This is exactly that. <laughs> We're not even going fast right now and everything is vibrating out of my body. It's so uncomfortable. Oh, it's unreal. I think this does have suspension, but I tell you right now, they do no good <laughs> whatsoever. Oh, it's just, oh, it's brutal. The Springer was brilliant. Oh, it was fantastic. That front suspension was just magic. That's why Jake did this. He did this so that Springer would seem so fantastic. Look, we're going like 10 miles per hour and I'm still vibrating to pieces. It's so uncomfortable. <laughs> So I wonder if he's having he's going around that corner. You know, you can see he's got to, you've got to push it much harder than you normally would. This thing going around the corners is stupid. It doesn't. It, it's pointless. <laughs> oh God, Look, if you like one of these, good for you. God bless you. But it's not good. It's just not coming up to the corner here. It's just. <laughs> oh my god honestly I feel like right now this Harley Davidson is giving me a prostate exam <laughs> it's just my teeth are vibrating my brain is <laughs> going it's just unbelievable I know we're supposed to be talking about that Springer right now but I just can't <laughs> this is just oh god these bumps it is just brutal <laughs> I've never had the giggles on a motorcycle before. Uh, <laughs> this is giving it to me. Oh, how do you do? How do you ride this? How can you ride this bike for more than two minutes? It's unbelievable. Oh, there are parts of my body going numb, which should never go numb. <laughs> oh, thank God, we're back in the dealership. <laughs> All right, we will. Uh, we'll we'll finish this up top and we'll we'll give you our final thoughts on this springer and this uh this dynam thing <laughs> whatever it is all right jake final thoughts on the springer harley davidson i'm gonna Huge. go first see I, I said final thoughts jake and then i said i'm gonna go first because well, you've ridden these before right i've never ridden one Oh, well, that's true. Yeah, so my... Wait, so this is your first time? Yeah, it was my first time on a Springer, because like I said before, I literally don't see the point of it. You do now, right? But, uh, well, all right, this is this is my thought on it. It does not ride as bad as I thought it would, right? I, I, I thought it was going to be super archaic, and it's not super archaic, but it is archaic. Uh, it is. It just is. It does not handle as well as a motorcycle with real suspension. It doesn't. To me, it's heavy. It is heavy, but it's a little more responsive because what you're used to of this turns into this, so it reacts quick. Oh, yeah, I mean, there are elements of it I liked. It doesn't dive, like, you know, well, some the, bikes. That's the, the, the mono shock wheel right. up front. That was quite cool, but I just, nah, it's, it's just, no. You're crazy. I'm not crazy. It you're looks great. Crazy. It looks really cool. Oh my cool. God, it looks so It good. looks really cool, but there's a reason they don't put them on motorcycles anymore. Well, Harley does, but I mean, uh, no, real chopper should. guys do. It's just, I mean, it would be just as good, if not better. I think I, uh, I got no words. I just didn't like it. One for me. But can we talk about that absolute monstrosity that you? I brought? don't even want to address Dude. that monstrosity. This. This is literally the worst thing I've ever sat on. I felt, and I, I said this when I was riding it, I felt like I was getting a prostate exam the entire time. I'm still buzzing so everywhere. It. No, I didn't like <laughs> it. My teeth, I, I lost a few teeth. They literally vibrated out of my head. But okay. Why would you do this to me, man? Well, because- You know I, I hate this. I, I hate everything. You just bring so it. So guys, I want you to know, you know I love a Dyna, you know I love a twin cam, but I did kind of do this with Malice and Tintor James. <laughs> It's awful. It's so bad. That seat, there's nothing to it. Those shocks, nothing to them. This, these, they're not even, you don't even need them. They are absolutely pointless. They do nothing. They, they do nothing. 
at it's, all. That's true, they don't. And so I don't even like the way this motorcycle looks. I like the bars. As a matter of fact, let me cover that crash bar real quick. From here back, I like it. Where we found issue was that and that was not good for it's, this motorcycle. It's, just, it's pointless. So don't even look at this one. Yeah, that was just we're Jake here being, to talk about that was just Jake a great a American kick. machine. Not that. We're here to talk about this. All right, so I'll give you this. It looks fantastic. It oh, really it's such does. A good that bike. Springer looks awesome up front. Uh, the windshield is just cold today. That's why we have it on. It would look a lot better without it. But the Springer does look absolutely epic. But and it was okay. It was better than I thought it would be. But uh, yeah, I, I think I think technology wins here. To be honest, I just don't. I just don't. You know, it's in the name Heritage Springer. This is meant to be old school. This is meant to pay homage to all the old school Harleys. I can do that with a poster, mate. Honestly, I can do that with a poster on my wall of this bike. I'd be happy. Beauty is pain. No. And pain is beauty. No. And it wasn't that painful. I mean, I really feel like, to me, it rode great. No, I think I'm still just sore from it. I think so. From that bastard right there. It's disgusting. All right. So anyway, final thoughts were the Springer wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. Jake loved it. Of course. How long did because it take us to start it though? Go on. Well, but now yeah. that's not fair. <laughs> it it took us about 25 minutes to start this. In the Springer's defense, and I'm going to give some knowledge to those that don't have it. If you don't know what a carburetor is, you probably don't know how to read. Get an audible about a carburetor so you can understand it a little better. This is also something old school that's been replaced. And what I've discovered is a For lot of people reason. just don't know how to use it. And with a bike like this, with a conventional Harley factory carburetor, you pull the choke. It's actually an enrichener is the technical term, but it does say choke on it. You pull the enrichener and you crank the bike, you let it warm up. It only takes 30 seconds on a decent day and you push it in, you ride along. Now with this teardrop breather, which you all know I love my SNS teardrop. This is the most gorgeous thing in the world to me. The paddles over here, that's your enrichener. Most folks didn't get it. They didn't understand that it was carbureted and they kept trying to crank it so they killed the battery. Well, here's the other problem. The people that did manage to get it cranked just left the choke on the whole time and let it high idle. Well, it's called an enrichener for a reason. It, it enriches the fuel mixture, you foul plugs. So we tried to crank it. It was a little hesitant because no, I hadn't was, been cranked It wasn't hesitant. It just didn't. It went no. Okay, so it there did no, say there no. There was no little hesitation. It went, but uh -uh. did we or did we not put plugs in it? Yeah, we had to put brand and new spot plugs in it. fired right off. It did once we'd done all that. But you know what? I like doing that and it starts. I still like doing this and it's starting. And on that absolutely ridiculous note, We'll see you next time. Okay, so some Harley guys love schools, but the question I want to know is how many schools is too many? And I think this is probably too many. Let's go. Come with me. One school, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, look at this one. Eleven. Amazing. Twelve. Did you get the one in the backrest? Yep, got that one. 12, 13, 14, 15. Look at this little guy hiding. 16, 17, 18, 19. Let's see. Oh, 20, 21, 22, 23. Uh, oh, oh, yeah. 24. Plus on the other side, 25 and, and 26. 26. Oh, but. 26 schools. But that's too many schools. Oh. Willie G. Yeah. Yeah, it's too many schools. It's never too many Willie G schools. It's a Harley. 26 is too many schools.